This is Erin O'Halloran with your News in 90. After Richard Spencer came to the University of Florida, the cost from the event continue to rise. Now the city of Gainesville and Alachua County have the final total. It costs $900,000 to keep Gainesville safe during Spencer's October visit. Florida Highway Patrol and the Alachua County Sheriff's Office both paid over $200,000. The City of Gainesville also paid over $200,000. The City Commission will be sending a formal letter to University outlining the cost to be discussed. UF has yet to release its total cost after the event. President Donald Trump says he will support citizenship for undocumented immigrants through DACA, but only if the deal includes funds for a border wall. Trump says in order to pay for the border wall, Democrats will need to agree to a $25 billion trust fund. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program has kept undocumented immigrants, or DREAMers, from being deported if they were brought to the U.S. as children. Trump says he will give citizenship not just to those protected by DACA, but also to those who meet the criteria and did not sign up for the program. This will affect around 1.8 million people. In the meantime, Trump says DREAMers do not need to worry about being deported if their status expires. The Florida Highway Patrol is investigating a small plane crash near an airport in the Keys. A single-engine Piper crashed in Marathon, Florida on Thursday, carrying four people. During takeoff, a gust of wind hit the plane and blew it into a wooded area near the airport. Ninety gallons of fuel spilled and caused a fire. Three people were airlifted to a Miami hospital, one being the 65-year-old pilot. The fourth passenger walked away with only minor injuries. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.